Republican Donald J. Trump has made a comeback into the White House after flooring Democratic candidate Vice President Kamala Harris in an historic victory that saw the Republicans also win the majority of members both in the Senate and Congress. Trump smashed past the magic 270 Electoral College votes by garnering 277 against Harris's 224. He also was leading in the popular vote against Harris. NTV's Ibrahim Karanja begins this broadcast. Tuesday, November 5th, 2024's election goes down as a monumental one for the world's biggest democracy as Trump made an extraordinary comeback for a president who refused to accept defeat four years ago, claiming there was electoral fraud. By the time of this broadcast, Democratic candidate and Vice President Kamala Harris was yet to give her concession speech. Neither had President Joe Biden congratulated Trump, a man he defeated in 2020. Going by the earlier exit polls where Trump turned most of the projected swing states as red. The 78-year-old declared himself winner early into the race in a battle that he won against all odds, facing multiple criminal charges and a sentencing date awaiting him in coming days. But most of all, I want to thank the millions of hardworking Americans across the nation who have always been the heart and soul of this really great movement. We've been through so much together and today you showed up in record numbers to deliver a victory like really I probably like no other. This was something this was something special and we're going to we're going to pay you back. We're going to do the best job. We're going to we're going to turn it around. It's got to be turned around. It's got to be turned around fast and we're going to turn it around. We're going to do it in every way with so many ways, but we're going to do it in every way. This will forever be remembered as the day the American people regained control of their country. World leaders who have congratulated Trump include Kenya's President William Ruto, former U.S. President George Bush, and British Prime Minister Keir Starmer. As the closest of allies, the U.K. and U.S. will continue to work together to protect our shared values of freedom and democracy. And having, having had dinner with President-elect Trump just a few weeks ago, I look forward to working with him in the years to come. French President Emmanuel Macron, Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel, and Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India, have also congratulated Trump. <laughs> President Trump has a 75-day transitional period to set up his team before his inauguration on January the 20th, 2025. We're going to make our country better than it ever has been. And I said that many people have told me that God spared my life for a reason. And that reason was to save our country and to restore America to greatness. And now we are going to fulfill that mission together. We're going to fulfill that mission. The task before us will not be easy, but I will bring every ounce of energy, spirit, and fight that I have in my soul to the job that you've entrusted to me. This is a great job. There's no job like this. This is the most important job in the world. In 2020, incumbent President Joe Biden and his Vice President Kamala Harris won the majority of the electoral colleges with 306 votes, similar to Trump's victory of 2016 against former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, who flew the Democratic flag then. At 277 and 224 electoral college votes, there are still 37 electoral college votes up for grabs amongst the two contenders. Ibrahim Karanja, NTV.